Hi, I'm Joseph. I'm a senior product manager with a little more than 10 years of experience in product management. Uh, today, I just wanted to talk about one of the learnings uh, from my career, which I personally feel is super helpful for uh, new product managers, aspiring product managers, and even experienced product managers. Now, the phrase that is used to explain this concept is uh, strong opinions loosely held. Now, uh, once you internalize it and, and understand what it means, uh, it definitely makes you a very, very effective uh, product manager. Uh, so what does this mean, strong opinions loosely held? So as a product manager, it is your job uh, to make decisions, right? Small decisions, big decisions, all the decisions that come with the area of, of which you are managing, area of the product that you're managing, the decisions have to be made by you. Now, uh, the reason people hire product managers is that uh, a lot of these decisions uh, they don't want to take or they don't know how to take. Like for example, uh, if it's a big organization, the CEO doesn't want to be involved in every decision uh, that is being made, but he or she wa does want uh, some other person to be able to make those decisions and use certain frameworks and make those decisions. So as a product manager, uh, when there is a problem uh, to be addressed and you have multiple options, uh, you know, choices in which you could possibly solve the problem, you can't go to, uh, uh, to the manager or to the executives and say that, hey, you know, here is a problem, here are four possible options, I don't know what to do, which one to pick, help me pick one of these and I'll go and implement it, right? Uh, that is not the role of the product manager. The product manager is expected to come with strong opinions to make a choice and back it, right? Now, when I say back it, it doesn't mean that you have to defend it or else you're going to lose your job. That is not at all what it means. You have to make a strong opinion based on certain inputs. It could be data, it could be customer interviews, it could be looking at competition uh, or looking at the future of uh, the industry. So whatever framework you want to use, you have to use and you have to make uh, a, a choice. You have four options, you want to pick, let's say, option number three because of X, Y, Z reasons. So when you go and present or you write a page and circulate, you're going to write about, you know, this is the problem, these are the options, possible options we explored. And we, I am, and me and my team, we are recommending option three because of X, Y, Z reasons. Now, that is a strong opinion, but it's loosely held because you are basing that opinion on those three uh, reasoning, right? X, Y, and Z data, customer interviews, X, Y, Z, whatever be the reason. So when you have that uh, reasoning, and if somebody, somebody with much more experience than you or in that domain uh, or from a marketing or you know, some, other, some other executive person comes in or your manager comes in and tells you that, hey, you, know, you looked at uh, this data point, but I don't think that necessarily points to what you're saying. You know, it doesn't validate that hypothesis you're making. Uh, why don't you double check on that? Or, uh, you know, don't look at that data. That is not the right data for this problem. But look at this other data that might give you more insights. And then you have to go back to the drawing board to uh, go and make your opinion again based on this new insight input that you received. And then, again, it could continue to be an option three or it could be an option four or option one. Whatever changes you have to make, you need to make those. Again, build that strong opinion, uh, loosely held. Go back and pitch that option and once it uh, gets approved or if it's a small one, you don't even need approval, you can make the decision. But now you're very confident and you can justify this to your peers or to your engineering team or to your manager why you made the decision. Right? So that is exactly what strong opinions loosely held means. Hope this was helpful. Um, I'll be uploading a new video every Monday based on... Uh, the learnings in product management. See you later. Bye.